Hello, Plaid Man here. <clears throat> so, um, it's been a minute. We're doing two movie reviews uh, because I saw them both last night. And um, they're both Christmas movies. And because it's almost Christmas, figured I'd do them. So, <clears throat> the first one is, it's called, um, um, like, My Dad's Christmas Date. And it's with Jeremy Piven. And... Um, I wanted to like the movie because I like Jeremy Piven. If you've never seen him or you don't know who I'm talking about, I highly suggest go watch Smoking Aces. He's the um, he's the guy that all all the people are going after. It's an action movie, and uh, if and it, he's I probably most notably known as Ari in uh, Ari Gold in um, Entourage, both the movie and the TV show, which is fun, just fun. It's. It's like a dose of the 90s from behind the scenes Hollywood. Anyhow, neither here nor there. <clears throat> so the setup on this thing is pretty straightforward. It's basically, okay, this guy, this guy and his daughter, his 16 year old daughter, they're kind of at odds with each other. A couple years prior, um, mom slash wife passed away in a car accident and they're still dealing with it. Um, and kind of the drama that ensues. Now, that would be one movie that I think you could take out of the Christmas setting or even have in the Christmas setting and enjoy, right? It'd be a little sad, but it could have like a nice heartwarming element to it. But no, instead, they have this other component, which in my opinion is frankly a different movie entirely, where um, <clears throat> there's a lot of drama between the dad and his daughter. And they do this other thing of like, oh, well, she's going to, the daughter's going to set up the dad on several dating sites and then, voila, hook him up with dates that he knows nothing about, which is kind of like catfishing, but not quite catfishing. It's just weird in general. And it plays weird in general. And what's fascinating is it would be weird funny if they rolled with the weird funny. Like half of this movie has moments that are just like, oh, wow, that's actually really funny. And the other half of the movie has these like, not quite serious, but very serious, like not fully serious is what I'm trying to say, moments. And you're like, uh, oh, I'm so confused as to what is going on. And frankly, Jeremy Piven makes the movie watchable. It is a Christmas movie. It's very much set around Christmas time. But in a way, it's almost like, oh, we just obligatorily set it around Christmas time. And it's like, okay, but it didn't have to be. It's kind of like a, <clears throat> I would argue it's it's less of a like necessary Christmas movie than uh, Die Hard, okay? Uh, <laughs> which is mean to say, but it's just like, you know, uh, yeah. So Jeremy Piven makes the movie. Frankly, there's flashes of brilliance with the daughter, but I felt like there was two s scripts that were merging together and it was like, what are you guys doing? And it just felt weird. Um, so there's that. Um, I, I suggest watching it. Both these movies are on Amazon Prime, by the way. So you can watch them for free. Uh, but I was just disappointed. Like, Jeremy Piven did a really good job. I just, it, it wasn't enough to make the movie really good. Anyways, so that's, uh, that one. Uh, the next one is called Something at Tiffany's. Which, I mean, product placement much? <laughs> hey, we did so much product placement for this. Literally, the name of our company is in the name and is a key component to the story. So, uh, no spoilers, but this is in the trailer if you care to watch it. Effectively, there's two couples. So, there's uh, one guy and he, whatever, he's just charming and attractive. He goes and he buys this engagement ring at Tiffany's and he's got a young daughter who's like 10 or something and it's like oh cool he's gonna ask his you know if he, his girlfriend to marry him yada 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 and then you have this other relationship where they're kind of like they've been together for three years she you know is a owner of like a bakery type thing and is doing quite well for herself but she's got a boyfriend who's like a tattoo artist which is like okay but he's just he's just trouble. Like, and anyone can see, and frankly, they did a great job casting and he did a good job acting. Like, he was off. To me, he was just off. Like, there's something about him. 
And it's, it's scary because you see guys like that and you're just like, oh my God, red flag, red flag, red flag. Um, and we've probably all had that friend, guy or girl, where they date someone and it's like, oh, but they're attractive or this or they do this or they got me flowers. And you're like, yeah, but all the other times this is like, you know, another thing to note, which was this little sidebar later, later, later in the movie is like, look at who your lover's friends are. Because if you've not heard this term and, you know, not to get all like thought provoking on this, but you are an amalgamation of your five closest friends. I believe is roughly how that goes. So <clears throat> if you're intermingling with your, your lover or your person you're dating, their friends, and you're, you're seeing what the friends are like, that is a good indication of what the person you're dating is like. So, and maybe not literally, it's not carbon copy, but that, that's kind of, so to me, there was a scene where even with all, all the other drama, where his friend comes into town and hangs out and you're just like, what, what the heck? Like it was just so, it was a bit over the top, but it was like, wow. Yeah, no, you should not be dating this guy if that's his friend, like, no. Because, yeah. Anyways, I don't want to give it away. So what happens is um, there's a mix-up. The uh, the one guy gets in a car accident. Oh, so sorry. The other, he goes. He goes to. So one guy goes to Tiffany's. He gets the engagement ring. The other guy goes to Tiffany's and he gets rings, like uh, sorry earrings for his girlfriend. You know, as kind of like a hey, I'm you know trying to buy you something nice, yada yada. Okay. So uh, there's an accident. The, the guy who bought the earrings gets hit by a cab and is in the hospital and can't supposedly remember what happened like the night before, which seems a little sketch to me, but whatever, that's fine. Um, but he's otherwise okay, nothing broken, whatever. Uh, and then Christmas morning comes and each guy gives a girl, oh, sorry. The accident happens and the guy who bought the ring is there and helps helps the guy who got hit by the cab. Yada, yada, yada. But in the process, what happens is their Tiffany bags get switched. So then the guy who had the engagement ring is giving some uh, earrings to his girlfriend with the intent. And he's like, oh, whoops. And reversely, the other guy has this beautiful ring and he's giving to his girlfriend and basically plays it off and it makes it feel like wait did he not remember buying this ring like what because he got in the car accident so good plausible deniability there and <clears throat> silliness ensues it it's it honestly the movie did a ter terrific job of staying in its lane it didn't go comedy comedy it didn't go fun it did kind of a classic romantic movie not a romantic comedy movie and I felt like it did itself a great service. And frankly, after seeing the other one, because I saw the other one first, I was just like, oh my God, this is amazing. It's like better than a standard Hallmark movie, but it has a lot of those tropes. It does really well in general. So if your lady's like, hey, I want to watch something new for holiday season because she doesn't want to watch Love Actually or... Uh, or she just saw it or uh, <clears throat> It's a Wonderful Life or God forbid, Die Hard which is obligatory Christmas fair. I highly suggest it's called Something at Tiffany's and it was really enjoyable for myself and my lady and loved it, loved it, loved it. So yeah, my, my, my criticisms aren't really there other than the, the type of movie it is. Like it's not super thought provoking. It's just kind of like it is what it is and it's a romantic movie and that's all it is. It's not trying to be anything else. So anyways, enjoy those two movies or, or don't or watch something else. Please leave a comment um, and like the video. Uh, love you all. I'll be doing another video shortly. I'm sorry this is kind of a two for one, but I didn't really feel like both movies deserve their own separate video. So it was just like, yeah, I'm just going to do one for both. Sowie. Oh, and you like my, my non-car <laughs> sponsorship? I should probably put some tape over it. I don't want to be repping them. Anyways, love you all. Talk to you later. Five men out. Bye.